The gray symbol, GY, is a derived unit of ionizing radiation dose in the International System of Units SI. It is defined as the absorption of one joule of radiation energy per kilogram of matter. It is used as a unit of the radiation quantity absorbed dose, which measures the energy deposited in a unit mass at a certain position, and of the radiation quantity kerma, which is the amount of energy that is transferred from photons to electrons per unit mass at a certain position. The corresponding CGS unit to the gray is the rad, equivalent to 0.01 grays, which remains common largely in the United States, though strongly discouraged in the style guide for US National Institute of Standards and Technology authors the gray was named after british physicist lewis harold gray a pioneer in the measurement of x-ray and radium radiation and their effects on living tissue it was adopted as part of the international system of units in 1975 topic <laughs> definition One gray is the absorption of one joule of energy, in the form of ionizing radiation, per kilogram of matter. 1 g y equals 1 j k g equals 1 m 2 s 2 Display style one mathrm g y equals one frac mathrm j mathrm kilogram equals one frac mathrm m caret two mathrm s caret two. The CIPM states, in order to avoid any risk of confusion between the absorbed dose d and the dose equivalent h, the special names for the respective units should be used. That is, the name gray should be used instead of joules per kilogram for the unit of absorbed dose d, and the name sievert instead of joules per kilogram for the unit of dose equivalent h. Topic: Applications. <laughs> 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 The gray has a number of fields of application in measuring dose. Topic: <inaudible> Absorbed dose in matter. The gray is used to measure absorbed dose rates in non-tissue materials for processes such as radiation hardening, food irradiation and electron irradiation. Measuring and controlling the value of absorbed dose is vital to ensuring correct operation of these processes. Topic: Kerma. Kerma, kinetic energy released per unit mass, is a measure of the liberated energy of ionization due to irradiation, and is expressed in grays. Importantly, kerma dose is different from absorbed dose, depending on the radiation energies involved, partially because ionization energy is not accounted for. Whilst roughly equal at low energies, kerma is much higher than absorbed dose at higher energies, because some energy escapes from the absorbing volume in the form of bremsstrahlung or fast-moving electrons. Kerma, when applied to air, is equivalent to the legacy Rentgen unit of radiation exposure, but there is a difference in the definition of these two units. The gray is defined independently of any target material, however, the rogue 10 was defined specifically by the ionization effect in dry air, which did not necessarily represent the effect on other media. <laughs> Absorbed dose in tissue The measurement of absorbed dose in tissue is of fundamental importance in radiobiology and radiation therapy as it is the measure of the amount of energy the incident radiation is imparting to the target tissue. The measurement of absorbed dose is a complex problem, and so many different dosimeters are available for these measurements. These dosimeters cover measurements that can be done in 1D, 2D, and 3D. In radiation therapy, the amount of radiation applied varies depending on the type and stage of cancer being treated. For curative cases, the typical dose for a solid epithelial tumor ranges from 60 to 80 grays, while lymphomas are treated with 20 to 40 grays. Preventive adjuvant doses are typically around 45 to 60 grays in 1.8 to 2 grays fractions for breast, head, and neck cancers. 
The average radiation dose from an abdominal X-ray is 0.7 mg that from an abdominal CT scan is 8 mg, that from a pelvic CT scan is 6 mg, and that from a selective CT scan of the abdomen and the pelvis is 14 mg. The absorbed dose also plays an important role in radiation protection, as it is the starting point for calculating the effect of low levels of radiation. In radiation protection dose assessment, the stochastic health risk is defined as the probability of cancer induction and genetic damage. The gray measures the total absorbed energy of radiation, but the probability of damage also depends on the type and energy of the individual particles or photons of which the radiation consists, and on the tissues involved. This probability is related to the equivalent dose in sieverts SV, which has the same dimensions as the gray. It is related to the gray by weighting factors described in the articles on equivalent dose and effective dose. To avoid any risk of confusion between the absorbed dose and the equivalent dose, the absorbed dose is stated in grays and the equivalent dose is stated in sieverts. The accompanying diagrams show how absorbed dose in grays is first obtained by computational techniques, and from this value the equivalent doses are derived. For X-rays and gamma rays the gray is numerically the same value when expressed in sieverts, but for alpha particles one gray is equivalent to 20 sieverts, and a radiation weighting factor is applied accordingly. Radiation poisoning, the gray is conventionally used to express the severity of what are known as tissue effects, from doses received in acute exposure to high levels of ionizing radiation. These are effects which are certain to happen, as opposed to the uncertain effects of low levels of radiation which have a probability of causing damage. A whole body acute exposure to 5 grays or more of high energy radiation usually leads to death within 14 days. This dose represents 375 joules for a 75 kg adult. <laughs> Leading up to the gray Wilhelm Röntgen first discovered X-rays on November 8, 1895, and their use spread internationally, very quickly, for medical diagnostics, particularly broken bones and embedded foreign objects, where they were a revolutionary improvement over previous techniques. Measurement standards were soon required for radiation protection and various countries developed their own standards, but in order to promote international standardization and cooperation, the first International Congress of Radiology, or ICR, which met in London in 1925, proposed a separate body to consider units of measure. This new body, called the International Commission on Radiation Units and Measurements, or ICRU, came into being at the second ICR in Stockholm in 1928, under the chairmanship of Mann Siegbahn. One of the earliest techniques of measuring the intensity of X rays was to measure their ionization potential in air. At the first ICRU meeting, it was proposed that one unit of X ray dose should be defined as the quantity of X rays that would produce one ESU of charge in one cubic centimeter of dry air at zero degrees Celsius and one standard atmosphere of pressure. This unit of radiation exposure was named the Röntgen in honor of Röntgen, who had died five years previously. At the 1937 meeting of the ICRU, this definition was extended to apply to gamma radiation as well as X rays. This approach, although appropriate for the technology of the day, had the disadvantage of not being a direct measure of either the intensity of X-rays or their absorption in target material, but rather a measurement of the effect of the X-rays in a specific circumstance, the ionization of dry air. In 1940, Lewis Harold Gray, who had been studying the effect of neutron damage on human tissue, together with William Valentine Maynard and the radiobiologist John Reed, published a paper in which a unit of measure, dubbed the Gram Röntgen, Symbol, GR, and defined as that amount of neutron radiation which produces an increment in energy in unit volume of tissue equal to the increment of energy produced in unit volume of water by one Röntgen of radiation, was proposed. This unit was found to be equivalent to 88 ergs in air. In 1953 the ICRU recommended the RAD, equal to 100 erg per gram, as the new unit of measure of absorbed radiation. The RAD was expressed in coherent CGS units. In the late 1950s, the CGPM invited the ICRU to join other scientific bodies to work with the International Committee for Weights and Measures (CIPM) in the development of a system of units that could be used consistently over many disciplines. This body, initially known as the 
Commission for the System of Units, but renamed in 1964 as the Consultative Committee for Units or CCU, was responsible for overseeing the development of the International System of Units, or SI. At the same time it was becoming increasingly obvious that the definition of the Röntgen was unsound, which had prompted many calls to be made for its redefinition, and in 1962 it was redefined. The definition of the Röntgen had the advantage over the gray of being simpler to measure, but the gray is independent of the primary ionizing radiation. The CCU decided to define the SI unit of absorbed radiation in terms of energy per unit mass, which in MKS units was J per kilogram. This was confirmed in 1975 by the 15th CGPM, and the unit was named the gray in honor of Lewis Harold Gray, who had died in 1965. The gray was equal to 100 radians. The adoption of the gray by the 15th General Conference on Weights and Measures as the unit of measure of the absorption of ionizing radiation, specific energy absorption, and of KERMA in 1975 was the culmination of over half a century of work, both in the understanding of the nature of ionizing radiation and in the refinement of measuring techniques. Radiation-related quantities The following table shows radiation quantities in SI and non-SI units. See also Dose area product GYCM2. International System of Units Base Units Orders of magnitude radiation. Order of magnitude unit. Rad unit. Rankin equivalent man. SI derived unit. Sievert SI derived unit of dose equivalent radiation. Equals equals notes. <laughs>